Thank you for joining us on this episode of Orient Update. My name is Jenny Bati, and I'm with the Township and I'm joined by Aaron Watley, our Parks Director. Now we are here to talk about all things parks today and he asked me to meet him at Peterson Lodge today. So Aaron, what's going on with Peterson Lodge? Tell me about it. So we're out at Camp Agawam. Um, it's oh, one of thank the, you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, one of the Township uh, public parks. Mm -hmm. So it's about 140 acres. We have camping, lodges, playground, beautiful beach. Mm -hmm. And then what Jenny was speaking of, uh, right behind us, we have Peterson Lodge. So this is the old kind of mess hall for the old Boy Scout camp. Mm -hmm. We've had it really shut down. Um, just, it's kind of an unusable condition. And we plan in 2023 to do a major renovation to it. So the plan here is to completely demo it down. It'll be a roughly a, a 40 by 60, 40 by 100, try to go as big as we can, open air pavilion um, with garage doors that will close down, heating inside, <clears throat> a restroom, and kind of a little, uh, I guess, kitchenette for caterers to come in, kind of prep, uh, have prep food that's already prepared off site, and then serve it. Uh, and it's just a great space, beautiful views right on Tommy's Lake, and, uh, yeah, we're excited about it. I so. mean, you can't get better views than that. I mean, oh, that'll perfect. be incredible. Yep. And that'll be a destination to rent out for all sorts of parties and events. Absolutely. Yeah, we have great things here. So if we have a nice uh, wedding venue, large party venue, we have a small chapel where you can get married and then a beautiful beach down here that we're gonna be planning to do some expansion to as well. That's exciting. It's pretty small, but we're gonna look to expand it out a little bit. Now. Can you kayak out on that beach? Or on uh, the lake, I should say? So yeah, you can kayak out on the lake. Um, actually, right over to the side here, mm -hmm. we're, I mean, we're really focusing a lot of our millage dollars on this area as our last hurrah. And so over in that area, we're gonna be putting um, an accessible kayak launch. So you can come here, um, take a little boardwalk down, launch your kayak really easily for any ability and just enjoy the beautiful the beautiful Tommy's Lake and especially in the fall you get the beautiful colors and it's just uh, yeah it's spectacular out here if you haven't been here you need to make sure you take a trip beautiful hiking trails yep. this golf course playground um, the amenities are amazing. You so. got the fire bowl with some shows that get put on over there, some concerts, magic shows, all sorts of things. Yeah, I, I hope we make a trip over the fire bowl because really friends of Camp Aguam and Tommy's Lake, they've really invested some, um, some great dollars from some of their fundraisers. And so it's just a beautiful uh, kind of intimate atmosphere, some music, some nice mm -hmm. natural Michigan stones, dolomite that'll step up. Um, they uplight the, the lighting canopy or the tree canopy. It's just, man, it's good. This is a good place to be out here. Well, why don't we go take a look at it? You've got me intrigued now, so let's go take a look. I love it. So we have made it over to the Fire Bowl now, and this staircase is absolutely incredible. What kind of work went into constructing something like that? So uh, the Friends of Camp Agawam mm -hmm. and Tommy's Lake, uh, they donated a tremendous amount of money to this project. So this is uh, really done in two phases. Ray from Rock Works, who lives actually across the, the lake there, uh, really gave us a great deal. and. These stones are actually from the UP. They're called dolomite. And um, he's really done a wonderful job with this. Mm -hmm. This whole area is kind of used for a very intimate setting for music and uh, performances. Actually, later this, in October, we'll have a, a fundraiser out here for one of the members' um, wives that unfortunately passed away. Um, so we encourage you to come on out and check it out, enjoy the staircase, the beautiful mezzanine up there. So we're excited. You can't get a more rustic, beautiful setting than this. So definitely, like Aaron said, check it out. And we are gonna go head off to another park and see what else you're working on. Great, see you there. All 
All right, so we just left Camp Agawam, one of the hidden gems in our community, and now we're over at Wildwood Amphitheater, which in my opinion is still another hidden yeah. gem that I don't think enough people know about. We had a great concert season, lots of upgrades here. Tell us about everything that's been going on here. People are learning about it slowly. Yeah. Um, so we, we finished our concert series a few weeks ago with Orient Events. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, pretty much all summer long. We had Tuesday night, free Tuesday night concerts. Um, so really jam packed the entire summer long. So some of the upgrades we made, uh, you can see the lighting and truss system behind there. So groups can come in, use our lights, rig up some nice sound equipment. Um, we did an improvement to the kind of the hillside behind us where it's an accessible pathway going all the way down. So making this venue 100% fully accessible. So bathrooms are accessible. Um, That's incredible. Yeah, we have yeah. Johnny Blacks. Um, they actually are concessions, concessionaire. Mm -hmm. And so they have uh, alcohol, food out here. Mm -hmm. So you can come in your, right in your backyard, listen to a great concert, get some, uh, get some drinks, have some food and relax, enjoy it. We have a nice picnic shelter we added up there too mm -hmm. as well. Um, so more to come more to come here for sure. Another thing that I love just about the events this summer itself, yep. they were affordable, family friendly. Correct. Kids were all free, the Tuesday night free concerts. This yep. is just an amazing venue. Yeah. We are so lucky to have this right in our own backyard. I've heard a lot of people calling it Mini Pine Knob. Yeah. Which I don't think mm -hmm. is far off, so. Yeah. So uh, we, we haven't really said this out loud, but DTE, if you're listening, uh, we will rename the pavilion the DT Amphitheater for you. And uh, we'll just a uh, little bit of cash here and we can make some improvements. DT, um, you heard it here first. Yeah, come on. <laughs> or any other big corporate sponsors. But um, so, yeah, with that being said, one last thing. And I don't know when this is necessarily gonna air, but we have Elo Palooza, September 17th, out here from 12 until 9 p.m. And that is uh, one of our non local nonprofits, the Daisy Project. They hold their um, music festival out here. It is family friendly, wonderful music, cornhole games. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. these. this group is just fantastic. They, every dollar they raise here goes back to either the community or accessibility throughout the state of Michigan. Every year they donated, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to playgrounds, the Miracle Field, um, just a wonderful group. I mean, all of these groups really speak to our community on yeah. how, one, the community values recreation, and I'm very grateful for that. And two, we value community, we value our residents, and they invest, they keep putting back in, and they're just so committed. So, um, it's about that inclusivity. It is. Everybody. So we want to make sure that everyone can enjoy everything in our community, and they are a huge part of that. So yeah. it's definitely an event to check out. As Aaron was saying, very family friend friendly. They've got henna, face painting, yeah. balloon arts. They have all sorts of things here, vendors, food, music, all day festival. So yeah. definitely check it out at Elo Palooza. You can find out more there. 2700 Joslyn Court, Saturday, September 17th. All right, now that we've talked about Wildwood and Camp Eguam, let's go over to Civic Center Park because you guys have some awesome upgrades coming over there too. Let's Great. go. Yep. All right, last but not least on our park tour today, we are at Civic Center Park, home of Old Township Hall that is now torn down. Aaron, what's going on that site? It's back to a park, woo! Uh, so yeah, Old Township Hall 2525 uh, Municipal Complex was tore down. And so what we plan to do, um, what we're doing right now, as you see, it's just kind of an open field area. We're gonna be adding some topsoil seed, uh, two to three, um, coll collegiate style uh, volleyball courts and then hopefully this winter we're going to have an ice skating rink so and we'll keep doing that every single year so we're going to have leagues uh, at the volleyball courts it's going to be a great space uh, for the community again 
So, That'll be amazing. I know yep. people are very excited for that. Yep. Another thing I'm hearing a lot of talk about is a ninja course. I yes. want more details on this. What's with the ninja course? So we're calling it our um, our adventure course, okay. our fitness course. Uh, but yes, essentially it's a, a ninja course. Um, that'll be going to kind of the, the northeast mm -hmm. of the existing playground over there. So an adult fitness course. and. And it will have the same obstacles, pretty much what you see on TV, the the wall that you got to climb up and then the you jump from, I don't know, I can't do it, but it'll be really fun. So I'm excited to try it. Yeah, kids will be playing and the adults can go play too. So that's actually slated to, um, the equipment's been delivered. We're just waiting on the installer to finish up a few projects. So by the end of this fall, we'll have that. So it'll be great. Woohoo! Yep. Super exciting. Um, we do have EV chargers too, by we the way. Do, but, but what's oh, what's he doing? What are you doing? Come on up here. Come, come up. Oh, well, we just found a stranger in the park. Come, come over here, sir. Yeah. Come over here. Uh, so this. What What were you doing behind that sign? I was just looking at the map. He's just, he's just parks, checking out the map. Making sure our parks are still on the map. So this wonderful gentleman is Patrick Ross. Yep. Um, his team led by him are the ones that make everything look beautiful in the township. He is uh, he's really the go-to guy keeping our assets and our recreation and our trailways, safety paths, facilities, uh, working on Baldwin Road Corridor. This guy does it all. So yeah. I really appreciate all his hard work and uh, what he does. So, but now it's time to get back to work. Phenomenal Stop. job though, okay. Patrick. Yeah. I, fo I found Phenomenal. what I needed. I'm yeah. gonna you found get it? Here. See you, buddy. <laughs> See ya. Well, that is very exciting. We have so much great things happening in all of our parks and I couldn't be more excited to see yeah. where else you guys take us. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, we will keep taking care of your recreational amenities and your assets and uh, improving property values with recreation and green space. So thanks everybody. All right, so for all things parks and all of their programming and events, go to orionparks.com for more information.